Hey Feltz. One of the coolest things you can do with a felt map once you're done adding your data and styling it is to share it with other folks. And we make this so easy in felt that we've even got this huge pink button in the top right corner. So if we click on it, we open the share menu. And this is a place where we can configure who and how can access our maps. There's two ways to do this. So first of all, we can add individual collaborators by email. Let's do an example. We're going to invite friend at felt.com and we're going to give them instead of editor, just viewer permissions. Once we click invite, they appear in this list and we can change their permissions or we can remove their access from the map altogether. Okay, the other thing we can do is decide what people with the map link can do. And just to be clear, these map links are cryptographically secure. So only people that you've shared the link with can see your map. Um, the default is being able to just view and not edit the map. We can, if you've shared it accidentally, for example, we can set public access to none. So only people that are invited specifically through the email or through a team can access. We can also allow anyone to view and comment. This is super useful to collect public feedback on your map. And finally, we can allow users to view, comment and edit as well. Okay, so we're gonna set it to view, which is the default. And if we wanna share this map, all we have to do is press copy link and we can take it, send a message, post, paste it somewhere and share that map with those people. Finally, there's one more thing we can do in this menu, which is go to settings here and enable or disable whether viewers can duplicate the map and its data. Um, duplicating a map is something that you can do from the felt menu. And it's really nice to just prepare a template or let other people try other scenarios or pick up where you left off your map. Okay, so that's how you share a map. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.